About 10.30 last night, Minneapolis police received a 911 call that there was a man walking around with a shotgun in this area. Uh, officers responded, canvassed the area, but were unable to locate that individual. Uh, early this morning, several hours later, about 4.30 a.m., we began to receive dozens of 911 calls uh, regarding shots fired um, on the 4,000 block of Minnehaha directly behind me. <clears throat> These 911 callers included residents from uh, other houses in the area, as well as residents from inside of an apartment building. The residents inside the apartment building indicated that there were shots being fired inside of their building uh, and that they could hear people banging on their doors and that they could also hear glass shattering. Minneapolis police officers from all over the city responded into this area, initially uncertain of where the shooter was. They quickly uh, realized that the shooter was actually inside of this apartment building. When they approached the apartment building, they could see that the door to the apartment building was damaged from several rounds of gunfire. <laughs> officers uh, went into the building, began to go through the hallway, observed one apartment door where the door was open, and they could see a shotgun in plain view on the floor. As they were observing that, they heard additional rounds of gunfire but could not see a shooter. Other officers, uh, as well as with assistance from the Hennepin County Sheriff's Office, began immediately evacuating the residents of that apartment building. Officers could then see muzzle flash coming from the north stairwell, stairwell uh, of the apartment building. The officers continued to uh, attempt to evacuate the building and move towards uh, where they believed the shooting was happening from. The officers located a suspect in the north stairwell uh, and one officer discharged his weapon one time. The suspect was then able to be disarmed of both an AK-47 rifle as well as what appears to be a 45 caliber handgun. He was removed from the building and was provided medical aid immediately. He was then transported by EMS uh, with critical but in critical but stable condition to Hennep Hennepin Healthcare where he is still being treated. Uh, there are no other suspects in custody. The officers continued to search the apartment building as well as the residences uh, in the area. Thankfully, there are no other uh, residents, there are no other community members, no other persons were injured as a result of this incident. Uh, however, we have at least uh, two separate residences that were damaged by gunfire uh, and, and uh, we're can. Yes, at least two separate residences that were damaged by gunfire. The building has been fully evacuated uh, and we removed the individuals with assistance of uh, Metro Transit who provided a bus to provide them temporary shelter. In accordance with our uh, policy, the officers that were involved uh, in this incident, both the officer who used deadly force as well as the officers who witnessed will be placed on administrative leave. I've requested that the BCA conduct an independent investigation into this incident, uh, and they have responded and they are on the scene. Uh, further updates regarding the investigation will come from the BCA. Um, I just want to, I, I walked through the scene myself. Um, it's an apartment building. Uh, I just want to highlight, I, I, and, and seeing what the 911 callers were saying, um, this was an incredibly unpredictable, you know, terrifying and just rapidly evolving situation. Uh, and I can't say, you know, how thankful I am uh, for the men and women of the Minneapolis police that responded here. Uh, I, I know it must have took incredible courage uh, and valor to do exactly what they're trained to do. Uh, when we have a situation where it's potentially an active shooter, we need law enforcement to get to that shooter as quickly as possible and stop. Uh, and again, not knowing uh, if other people were injured um, I'm just, I'm incredibly thankful for uh, the way the officers performed here today. Are there any questions? Last night. Yep. Matches the description. And then the shotgun was found inside the apartment. Relatively same area? Yes, same area. Yep. Same block. This person shot their way into this apartment building. You described the damage to the door. Uh, I don't have, uh, the door was to the actual entrance to the apartment building itself, not to a particular apartment. So that's what the officers are seeing as they're going into the building, that there's already gunfire that's damaged the, uh, the door to the apartment building. 
as well as uh, discharged shell casings that are on the floor in different places uh, throughout the building. We, we, we think they do live here. Um, and the person uh, is not uh, known to us. Um, while we have had calls at the building, we, have, uh, we don't have information to suspect that we've dealt with him previously. But we're still obviously looking further into that. What else can you tell us about this? <clears throat> Um, I don't, uh, he was shot, uh, he was shot in the jaw, I believe. Uh, and as I said, he is in critical but stable condition. He's expected to survive. Uh, beyond that, um, I don't believe he has any family, uh, that was here with him. Um, and that's, that's really all the information I have. Okay. Yeah. I mean, what the heck? You just go right. and start shooting? What is that about? I have no idea. We don't know the motive. Uh, you know, we don't know if this is a, a you know a mental health issue, if substance abuse, uh, some some other type of crisis played a role. Um, it's yeah. As of right now, we we have no idea what the motive could be. I could tell you, um, he also had a a backpack with him while he was shooting, uh, as well as several additional magazines of ammunition. Um, it was very concerning uh, to me. We actually had the bomb squad come out uh, to, to check the backpack because I, I was concerned it could be a booby trap for first responders. Um, but thankfully that was cleared. It was just, it was found, there was additional, uh, additional magazines, additional ammunition inside of it. Uh, he was also wearing a, a military style, I guess you would say flak jacket. Uh, so not a ballistic vest, but something like the army would wear with, you know, something similar to this that you could put equipment on and magazines for ammunition, that type of thing. And no one was hurt? Thank God. I mean, that, no. how is that even possible? Thank God no one was hurt. Um, like I said, there's at least two homes, separate homes outside, both in front and in back of the apartment building uh, that it appears to be damaged by gunfire. Um Beyond that, we haven't fully checked, uh, you know, the apartment complex itself, but we know uh, we have checked the building uh, just to ensure that there isn't anybody in need of medical aid. So. And forgive me if you said this already, mm -hmm. but do you know how many shots he fired? I don't know how many shots. Um, no, I don't know. Yeah. Just to clarify, you said when <coughs> you eventually got to this person, on their person, they had that AK-47 yes. rifle. And then a 45 caliber handgun. Yes. And then there was a we believe they were firing from that AK-47 rifle that matches the shell casings on the ground. But in addition, he also had what appears to be a 45 caliber pistol on him also. You mentioned a third rifle potentially on the ground. A shotgun uh, that was visible on the floor of the apartment where the door was open. All these things considered, yep. these multiple guns, the black jacket, mm -hmm. the ammunition. What does that tell you as a law enforcement? about what this person is intended to do. Well, our officers, uh, especially while they're hearing gunfire and the 911 calls keep coming in saying there's people shooting, there's glass breaking, there's people banging on our doors. Um, that's, that's terrifying. And our training for our officers, you know, has evolved to deal with the problem of active shooters, right? We're going into a building, an apartment building, shots are being fired. People are saying there's somebody banging on my door. There's window, there's glass breaking. Uh, for officers, we need our officers to, as quickly as possible, get to the person that's shooting uh, and stop stop the threat to human life that's there. Um, and like I said, uh, they're dealing with limited and, at times, information that sounds confusing as it's coming in from 911. Um, but I'm just, I'm incredibly thankful that they performed as heroically as they did, that they were able to stop this before anyone was hurt. I have no idea what this motive could have been. Uh, for, for this person, but, um, you know, it's just, uh, I'm, I'm just thankful that, that, you know, everyone, everyone's okay.